So in equal measure that we embrace uh, the shadow aspects of, of our being and of, of life, the shadow meaning that which we're, you know, either uncomfortable with and um, avoiding or we're just not aware of, right? And we can just feel our way into that over the course of our lives, what making something that we're not aware of increasingly um, bringing it into awareness, which is the true process of, of um, embodiment of the realization and the deepening of that is to bring things continuously out of what is hidden to to our own um, view and invite that forward. And how we do that is by um, walking into the shadow. So walking into that which we're, you know, a little uncomfortable with and um, and a bit resistant to or completely resistant to and bringing this light of awareness that has been um, somehow gained um, and uh, woken up to to where there's actually right in the center of everything is this clarity is this um, open spaciousness that is untouched that is um, free that is free of 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 the content yeah and so that that spaciousness that peacefulness awareness which is not a state it it gives us the courage in order to be able to walk kind of like with a lantern you know of um into these more shadowy realms um that are challenging for us and 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 we we gain um, courage and this kind of like willingness to do this because we see that there's a, a beautiful payoff to it, and what the payoff is is that we are as much as we're 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 entering this domain of 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 this shadowy place in us, including our own sadness, including welcoming our grief, um, saying yes to it all, we're, we're correspondingly being able to say yes and, and invite the joy and the uh, acknowledgement of that, the beauty of life. So they go hand in hand. You know, um, people say that, that we wake up uh, beyond duality, you know, to that which is actually embracing duality. Non-duality, to me, is, is the, the ultimate embrace of duality. So all duality is, is, is um, contained and, and arises out of the, this larger context, right? So it's just like you can just kind of picture these big arms that support all this arising and all the the things that we are we love and we don't love you know about ourselves and about the world and uh, the more that we're able to see that all this this these horizons are being held in this vastness that we are the more that we have this willingness and courage and um i don't know this this deep um loyalty to be able to continually enter into seeing, wishing to see um, what is still not known. And that is an ongoing, ongoing journey, you know. And it's it's a delightful journey. It becomes more and more delightful. It's kind of like a, a snowball that's going down the, the mountain and gets bigger and bigger and the, the gravity of it takes it along the way and it becomes easier and easier and takes more of itself <laughs> and gathers more of itself and uh, purpose and speed and um, I think you get the, the picture. So um, it's it's a real myth that that 
that we're going to be um, in any kind of way saved from from the the shadow side of life and from our own um, past and from the pain of the world and um, and all that. It's not that that's not how it works. We're not going to be saved from it. We're not going to be free of feelings. We're not going to be free of sadness. We're not going to be free of anything, actually. What we're going to realize, what we realize, is that we are the freedom that contains all of these these aspects, including the, the beautiful things that we, we say we want, you know, the peace, the joy, the delight, the um, open-ended quality of that freedom uh, reveals. All that... Op- is also inherent in it, but simultaneous. See, these, this is the world of duality, okay? We're not going to be free of the world of duality. I think you're starting to get the, once again, the picture, right? We are the freedom that has created duality. <laughs> it's not a mistake. You know, none of this is a mistake. We're not a mistake as we are, you know, um, Oh, none of it, the, the whole journey of our lives, um, the, the beauty and the pain, none of it is a mistake when we see it from in that, in that larger context. I think that oftentimes we, um, many of us have shame around um, still feeling certain, certain pains or wounds or being, carrying certain qualities that we thought we would be liberated from and freed of. And so there's this, this hiding that can continue, um, even if quite a bit of um, truth has been seen. And uh, I, I really would like to invite that, that, that shame to, to come out of the shadow and to step into, this, into the light of awareness that we are and to be embraced and to be acknowledged that um, that that is that is our humanness that's our our humanity you know we share that as well with one another we share all these aspects with one another the desire to be free of pain and the fear of entering pain and um I think when we come out of hiding, we're, we're revealing our, our humanness with one another and say, I've been afraid of letting you know this or, you know, coming out of hiding within the, firstly, within ourselves. And then we get to see that, that it's a beautiful thing that we've been hiding. It's, it's our own vulnerability. It's our own tenderness. It's, um, it's this, this, um, capacity and willingness to reveal that we we don't have it all together that we are actually information in formation not information <laughs> that we're unfolding and still forming continuously and it was when we reveal our own um delicate selves to one another we're inviting forward you know, this conversation that we're all the same in that way, that we're, we're similar, that we're ultimately similar and the same, and that we all have areas that, that we're coming out of hiding in. Um, and, 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 and we can have a celebration of that, like a coming out of hiding party. <laughs> we could come have a coming out of hiding party and, and be able to speak honestly about some things that that we've been ashamed about and and bring them out into the light of day and examine them and see is this what is this like when we're not hiding it's just this really innocent young part of us that is afraid of not being welcomed and accepted and when we start to come out of in a more, when we start to mature and come out of these ideas of what spirituality is going to be freeing us and these myths that we, we, we have taken in, that these, 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 these ways of being should be, 
should be gone by now, should be over or healed or disappeared, poof, um, we can actually start to tell ourselves the truth. And that's actually a deeper um, realization that's taking place. It's the opposite of what we think, you know, that we're going to be free of, of all these qualities that we want to keep in the, you know, that we think are part of the shadow. We embrace the shadow when we do, and the more that we do, we're actually becoming, uh, we're stepping into a more embodied wholeness of being able to welcome the light and the dark and see them as one integrated whole, that without one we don't have the other. And the way we do that, again, coming back to the beginning, is that we need to see that there's something so much faster that's um, embracing and, and um, holding both polarities, the polarities of the dualities, polarities and dualities of life. Yeah, so that's, that's um, increasingly what I'm, what I see within myself and, and what I like to speak about with others and um, welcome dialogue. Wishing you well.